back to our second weeks of q and I think we're going to keep this at like a weekly pace. Basically, anyone can ask whatever you want on stream and I'll answer whatever I want. And I asked, I thought about, you know, putting this available for YouTube people. But no, I think this is a special privilege that only people that show up on Twitch streams can ask. So go ahead. What kind of music do I listen to right now? What am I listening to right now? Maple Story soundtrack. I love video game soundtracks. I love anime soundtracks. Basically, movies, instrumentals, just like anything instrumental. I'm not too much of a fan of songs with lyrics. In fact, lyrics is low priority for me. All I care about is like the melody of like a song, but I, I love instrumental stuff. All right, let's see. Will I react to One Punch Man again? So that's a difficult thing to figure out how to do. Because like we have never reacted to One Punch Man in our channel, but I have read the manga. And does that mean that I should start from the beginning? What should I do about that? Because it's like season... Because like people want to see blind reactions, but... I would like to cover One Punch Man when season 3 comes out. Maybe we just go in raw, right? Maybe because like... I think season 3 content beyond is a bit different from, you know, um, what people are expecting. So maybe we should just go in raw instead of starting over. Do I believe in ghosts? No. I think that ghosts are not real. <laughs> right? Favorite anime of all time? There is no favorite anime of all time. I can simply give you a list of animes that's been recently impactful to me. In fact, I'd have to think about it if you're going to you know, answer something as simple as... Or as complex as favorite anime of all time. Don't ever ask me, like, what's the anime... Like, what your favorite of all time. Just ask me, like, you know, what are some of your favorites? Right now... I think recency bias is still kind of hitting hard with uh, Eminence and Shadow. I love Eminence and Shadow. Most isekais I just genuinely love. I have to think about it, but I still think about Eminence and Shadow from here to here. Demon Slayer honestly has been creeping up in terms of hype. My god, that finale of Swordsmith's Village. Sorry, not Swordsmith's Village. The finale of Hashira Training Arc, that just reminded me of what it's like to be so, so excited about anime. But there's a bunch of anime. I'd have to think about it. What animes were reacting in the old channel? Tensura is one of the first animes that we reacted to. The first video ever was a Chainsaw Man trailer reaction. Then I think we did a bunch of seasonal weeklies. Like 86. Like... Fuck, I don't know. Ranking of Kings. There, there are just so many. There's a bunch of Mirko-chan. There, there's a shitload of seasonal animes that I just, you know, reacted to for so much. What do I think of Korean skincare treatment? Um, I'm not completely sure what you mean by that, Emitan. If you're talking about general Korean skincare routines, I think that they are probably the best in the industry. But anything with skincare, makeup, or products like that, you gotta be careful with the marketing. Quite often, the product is not actually that good. And they're just kind of like shilling by using a different idol or different celebrity to say, yeah, this cream is the best thing. At the end of the day, you just kind of have to look for the ingredients, do a little bit of like understanding of, you know, which ingredients are good for hydration, like hyaluronic acid and stuff like that, right? Just go off of there. What other reactors inspire you and my channel? No one, rea no one inspires me. No other reactor inspires me. I told you. What am I? I am the messiah. I am the React Messiah, and I am here to deliver you into paradise. Too many fucking mid-reactions on YouTube. Too many motherfuckers that don't know what's going on with the story. Too many dudes that has no understanding of the plot, and only just does that because it just makes some money. They just do this. They do this. And while I might do that too, I think you can tell that I show some extra care. Now, that's a little disrespectful for a lot of other people by saying no other reactors inspire me, but... You know, there's some friends of the channel, right? There's some friends of the channels that we know, but there's not been like a, an actual channel that was like, damn, they're the reason I'm gonna be a reaction channel. And it's never really been like that. All I saw was a bunch of mid reactions on YouTube when I was looking for a One Piece reaction. I got pissed off. So I decided to take it upon myself. What is my favorite character in Beyblade right now? In Metal Fusion, because that's the only Beyblade that we've seen. My favorite character, it might be. Doji? I don't know. I think it's a cop-out answer to, like, say, Ryuga or Jinga, because obviously they're the main character, and it's like, you know, everybody fucking loves Ryuga. I, I, I fuck around with a lot of the side characters, or the memes. Doji's low-key fucking hilarious. I actually adore Doji, even though he's, like, an evil scum. Phoenix has been really cool. Phoenix and Subasa has been really cool as well. Ka, how come I upload so quick? Because I'm on that grind, baby. I'm on that grind. Keep up. What is my favorite savory snack? Alright, a little bit of a dumb moment. What does savory mean again? What is that flavor palette? 
It's the categories that is salty or spicy rather than sweet. Okay, um, snack. Salty and spicy. It's got to be then Dorito sweet chili heat. What's my workout routine? Um, I've been slacking, honestly. I haven't been going to the gym in a while, bro. I've been slacking, slacking. My workout routine just consists of very simple lifts. In terms of uh, sets and reps, right? It, I like to go for low, re low weight, but high reps, high volume. Basically, in bodybuilding, if you want to do strength training, it's not really building aesthetic muscles. You are strengthening your central nervous system to produce amount of force. And that's why a lot of those strength training dudes, they don't seem muscular, like bodybuilders, but they have a lot of strength. And that's from doing very like um, uh, low reps, but high weights, like five by five sets. I like to fuck around with just like low weights and high reps because I'm a pussy and I just want my muscles to look good and just cardio. That's pretty much it. Do I have a sp do I like a specific genre? I fun fact, I'm not really an isekai endurer until I started this reaction channel before the reaction channels. What did I usually always do? Battle Shonen. Battle Shonen Naruto One Piece, please. That was my fucking territory, bro. I never watched any other anime. I just fucked around with the like, long running battle shonens. What was the worst injury I ever got? When I was a kid, I'm not sure if you can see this right here. I'm not sure if the finger's gonna focus, but at the tip, right beneath the fingernail, there's a little bit of a skin graft. I'm not sure if you can see that. But that, this part, when I was playing hockey as a kid, I was a dumb fucking idiot. One of my first ever time playing hockey. I was so tired, I was sitting on the, on the ice and I took my glove off. And I rest my hand on the ice. And then a fucking goalie stepped on my finger. <laughs> Fuck, I thought I had my fingers chopped off. Thank fucking God we got that shit stitched up immediately. Jesus Christ. That was dumb. After going through with all of Data Live, what is my final thoughts on the anime? It is... Let's talk about the elements in the room. It's unfortunate that Studio Geek Toys changed the models and there was a lot of CGI used in the fights, right? Data Live was fucking peak animation. Up until the animation chains, I... Ugh. It's not bad. It's just not the data live that I remember. But regarding the overall story, I think that it wrapped up pretty nicely. From the beginning, they had this whole mystery of the origin spirit and... What are these spirits? What are these space quakes? And by the end of season 5, they pretty much wrapped up every point. I think that they did a fantastic job wrapping up all the major important story points. But I don't think the story is just finished yet. I think we can still fuck around and do a lot of, a lot of fun things. And I think that data live... If you go back to my episode one reaction, I think that I started off by saying, listen, this is a bad look. Anyone can tell that this is like a shitty fan service anime. And yes, there is a lot of those degenerate fan service moments, but I don't think that that really makes me think that it's a shitty degen show. I think that Data Live actually had a great story and it was one of the series that I really had fun watching. I think the peak of Data Live for me, for whatever reason, was season one though. That season 1 episode 10, that whole incident that as soon as Kurumi showed up, all the way to the rooftop battle against Kotori bro, that shit was insane. That shit was so fucking peak. I love Data Live. What are the most important things to me in life? I think that as time progresses, your value of what you perceive to be important changes. For the longest time, I thought that the most important thing was just money, right? Having money will just solve everything. If I just go into med school and become a doctor, I won't ever have to worry about being broke. But that's just high school me not understanding the nuances of this world and not realizing that life isn't that simple. Now that I've matured a little bit more, I think that the most important thing to me in life is freedom. And what is freedom? Freedom is being able to do what you want to do, when you want to do, wherever you want to do, with whoever you want to do. And you can only have that if you are financially independent or have a lot of flexibility with your work-life balance. In my 9 to 5, I working as a software engineer, it was a fantastic job. I was really grateful for the opportunity. I made a lot of money doing it. And it was honestly a very chill job. I would honestly work for like 2-3 to three hours a day to be honest. While making it seem like I have a lot of other things. And then I just, you know, play my mobile games. Do a little bit of, you know, research on YouTube and think about how to you know, make my channel better. But at a certain point, I start to realize that I'm really tied down by this. And this is what you call... I'm not going to say this is the golden handcuffs because I wasn't paying that much. I'll call it the bronze handcuffs where you've got your shackles on and you're tied down to this entity because it's comfortable. You know, getting a nice paycheck, it's comfortable. But I realized that there's more to life than just collecting a paycheck and, you know, just living for the weekends. I want every day to be a weekend. And now that I'm doing this shit full-time content creation, it truly does feel like I have much more fulfillment in my life 
I can work as hard as I want towards one single cause that I actually believe in without feeling at being like pointless, just like the corporate grind. But I think that having control of your life over your time and being financially dependent and that that and those things coming together to define what's called freedom, I think is the most important thing in life. What is my favorite Ghibli movie? I've never seen a single Ghibli movie. Ha 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 ha! You gonna get mad about that? <laughs> Did I watch Danmachi Sword Octaria? No. So Danmachi is an interesting case where season one, I watched it a long, 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 long time ago when it first aired, literally when it was wearing as a season, but I don't think I finished it. I think I selectively watched a couple episodes. And then on my old channel, I decided to start from season two to four. But I don't think Sword Oratoria, I don't even know what that is. Is that a movie? Is that an OVA? Probably not. What is the hottest take about anime that I believe? Oh, I think the hottest take, what I've been repeatedly saying recently, what I've been saying, I've been saying over and over that rom-com is a shitty fucking genre. Not every rom-com, but a lot of rom-com is just degenerate fucking power fantasy for a bunch of losers marketed towards the losers. That demographic of this like, you know, having a main character that you can self-insert to. And what is that main character in Roncon? Fucking weak-willed, unmotivating, you know, no friends, no social life, no nothing, loner, has nothing going on, but then the perfect girl shows up out of nowhere and just saves you? Yeah, right. That's a fucking power fantasy for those losers. The reason that I never watched rom-com growing up and only watched Battle Shonen is because I knew that if I watched these rom-coms, then my perception of what's actually romance in life is going to distort. I'm going to be fed the most fan service disillusioned rom-com from a perspective of fucking dudes that wrote this manga without understanding what an actual girl he is and how she behaves. I thought that that shit would be completely whack. I thought to myself, don't give me hope. Don't give me false sense of hope. I don't need, even if I'm single and lonely, I don't need to cope by watching these rom-coms. This shit's just going to make it worse. That was my actual mindset. And then people said, bro, chill. It's not that deep. Just check out Kaguya-sama. And then I was like, you know what? This ain't so bad. Am I a fan of the horror genre? Not necessarily, but uh, you can go to my channel and you can go look at the Five Nights at Freddy's playlist and you can see how much fun we had there. The horror games were pretty peak. They are actually pretty good content for just like streaming. Have I played any visual or novel game besides the one that streamed on YouTube? Nope, only uh, the ones I've streamed on YouTube. What would be my favorite anime opening? Hmm, that's hard. That's hard. There's a lot of good anime openings. For whatever reason, this anime opening still strikes dear to my heart. Let's see if I can find it. High School DxD Season 2 Opening 2. Something about this anime, bro. This, something about this, bro? Hold up. Let's... Bro, this fucking opening? The whole scene, as it transitions into Rias Grimmer's determined eyes, as we get into a new fucking, you know, a season. And then the whole in character introductions of the cast, this shit's so peak. And then Gasper, and then, and then as soon as Volley shows up, bro, as the song chorus just like swells up, dude, this shit is so peak. As soon as Volley shows up, it's so good. Look at, listen to this for a bit. Let's, I'm gonna play just a bit so I don't get copyright. Oh yeah, yeah, and then what happens? It ends with fucking Azazel, just with the biggest flex. Look at this shit. Yeah, three, two, one, and then it's boom. It goes, so hype, so hype. And then the chorus is a fucking bop. Oh, it's so good. This opening was really great, but there's a lot of opening I don't like. I, I think that I like more about the instrumentals, the melody of the songs. I don't really care about the lyrics because obviously I can't even fucking understand it, but just have good hype melody. Good hype melody and visuals that kind of makes me get hyped too. List of favorite isekai? That's a video. I can't give you a list in, in an order. But here's some isekais that's fond right now. I mean, Tensura. Mushoku Tensei, obviously, right? Eminence in Shadow. That's, those are definitely one of the great uh, isekais, right, that we've watched. I know that you're going to say like SAO is an isekai, blah, blah, blah. If, SAO, SAO, if you define SAO as an isekai, then maybe SAO as well. There's a lot of isekais that we watch, but I'm thinking just purely like the peak of the peak cream of the crumbs. Konosuba, I think. Konosuba is definitely fucking good. Yeah. There's definitely some stuff that I'm missing out right now. And don't get mad at me for not saying Reaser Overlord. I'm only mentioning the shit that we've seen in this channel right now. What was the most expensive thing I bought? Most expensive thing I bought... 
probably my paper that I earned at the University of British Columbia. My $60,000 paper. Fuck what a waste of money that was, bro. What else is there? Sorry, one second, one second, one second, one second. When was the last time I played MapleStory? Last summer. I was this close from playing MapleStory again this year due to the Go West update and, you know, the new Hyperburn, but I just couldn't justify it. I'm like, nah, I'd rather make content instead. Outside of anime reactions, do I have any other hobbies? Gotcha? Games? <laughs> Gambling? Mmm. I like to just watch a lot of videos on interesting topics of business. Like, one of my favorite things to do when watch on YouTube is, like, watch videos on, like, you know, 10 reasons why, you know, fucking Papa John's failed. Just, like, looking at, like, different documentary stuff. I, I, you guys are probably going to think it's boring, but the more you do YouTube and content creation, it's pretty much a business. And once the business gets going, you get really addicted to the high of growth. And this pretty much just kind of becomes your identity. And you try to figure out, like, why did this, you know, why does this channel fall off? And why is this channel doing well? And how can I, you know, learn from other business ventures and learn how to do that shit? I like to just think about that shit too, but it's in terms of just pure entertainment, I like eating a lot. I'm a big foodie. I like to play many random sports, but I don't really play sports anymore. A lot of video games, but not so much recently. Do I like to eat sweet things or salty things? Both. I don't know what this is. What kind of video games do I play beside Gacha? Soulborn's game. I think the last game I actually played was Elden Ring other than Gacha games. Have I watched the mechan anime? Yeah, Code Geass. Do I, do I have any other hairstyles other than this one? Nah, I just have this one right now. It's just the uh, webtoon main character hair, right? It's just like the short sides, right? Three mil on the sides. And then it's just like a part with like a little part, like a part here. Nah, this is the, just don't change it, right? It, I mean, it's working. <laughs> like, why, why, why change something that ain't broke? Doji's Cactus, Tatsumaki or Fubuki? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Fubuki because Tatsumaki looks like a lolly, even though she's the older sister. Yuki or Alia? Masha. Do I plan to upload old channel videos to YouTube or Patreon? Not to YouTube. On Patreon, there is a potential to do it. Do I have any regrets for my school days? Yes. My biggest regret is thinking that I was going to become a doctor. That was a waste of time. If I could go back to my high school self, I'd be like, yo, don't go to college. Start a YouTube channel. But it's like, how the fuck are you going to believe that shit, right? Even if, like, there's no way I would listen to myself. Even if future me came back and I told myself I'm past self, there's no way I would do that. There's, it's way too risky. It's way too fucking scary, but I wish that I didn't grind so hard just fucking, you know, with these studies and grinded something different, you know? I was basically grinding for someone else's dreams rather than my own dreams. I was fucking stupid, but now I'm realizing that. Have I watched My Hero Academia before? A little bit here and there. Who is my favorite YouTuber? Oh, that's hard. I like a lot of skit YouTubers. Sylvanas, you know, the anime reaction, anime uh, skit guy, he's funny as fuck. Long Beast Griffey, he's funny as fuck. Um, I know it's not accurate to call Asmongold a YouTuber, but he does have a YouTube account and he, he posts a lot of good shit. I listen to a lot of his commentary. I do unironically enjoy Tectone. You might think that he's an evil, big, bad, bald guy, but I genuinely do enjoy Tectone's content. <sighs> Is there any, like, huge, huge YouTubers that I used to watch? I can't really think of on top of my head right now. Best Dorito flavor? I think you guys are talking about Sweet Chili Heat. Have I watched Pokemon? When I was a kid, a long, long time ago, but it's the memories are very fuzzy. In fact, Pokemon could be reaction content in the second channel. Roche Day or Dangers in My Heart? Well, it's not fair to compare a four-episode, you know, anime that's still airing right now compared to a completed product that's two seasons out. In terms of, you know, it's unfair, right? Dangerous in My Heart is just a better rom-com story, but obviously it's going to be. It's had, like, what, six times the episodes, right? You got to give Roche Daddy some time. Doesn't mean Roche Daddy's back. Let's just wait till season one completes, then we can compare. Out of all the drop animes, which one would I pick up if the viewership was guaranteed to be good? You ready? <laughs> Rent-a-girlfriend. Yes. I think Rent-a-girlfriend reactions would be fucking peak. You monkeys have no idea how amazing those reactions are gonna be. You just don't understand what good reaction content is. Because good reaction content is when I get fucking mad. When I start shitting 
on a bad anime. That's great reaction content. Would I watch Rent a Girlfriend by myself? Fuck no. For the same reason why you don't want Rent a Girlfriend, I too. But in terms of reactions, that's different. That's different. Watching something shitty together and laughing at together is one of the best reaction experiences. That's why I think that reacting to shitty animes is often more funnier than reacting to actually good anime. What advice would I give to my younger self? Don't go to college. Start a YouTube channel. What's my opinion on different reaction formats? For example, watching and with minimum commentary and then discussion mixed with a little bit of both or watching with commentary. So this is the part. When you do this part, right? Basically, what am I doing? My style is I let a bit play, then I pause and give my immediate take. But some other people will let a scene play for five minutes and then give their take. In terms of editing and stuff like that, I think it's better to do it my style. And in terms of better engagement, I think it's better to do it my style. Because some people might not actually even give a fuck about your commentary and just skip over the sections that you talk. Because some people is genuinely just trying to watch the anime. They just searched it on YouTube. They're not looking for reactions. But I think that my style... I think that every style is different, suited for every different person. Not everyone can just do what I do. Because, like, I'm just weaponizing my ADHD and I can get into a flow state and just, like, dis dissect and discuss what's going on without holding on for too much. If you pause for the sake of pausing and increasing watch time, and if you don't, you don't have anything good to say, people will stop watching you. It's just that fucking simple. Why did I choose the way that I react? How does it affect the viewership? The reason that my viewership, my strategy is good for me is because people actually like me for my commentary, right? How do you set yourself apart in this field of anime reactions when everybody does the same shit and is so saturated? You need to figure out a way to differentiate yourself. How do you differentiate yourself? Well, you, there's got to be something unique about your personality, but this, the beyond that, is there something else that you can do on your reaction? What I noticed was a lot of people just fucking talk over the anime and they release like a 12 minute reaction. And sure, that might work for the past, but I'm trying to innovate and figure out what can I do differently while accommodating my pure strength? And what is my pure strength? Just fucking yapping and trying to go on schizo theories. I can't really do that when I don't pause. So the moment that I start to pause and actually, you know, give my thoughts, what happens was the retention increased. People can now fully see what I'm actually good at rather than see me mumbling over, you know, anime, you know, com anime actually audio, right? By me pausing and actually giving my take and doing that, not only am I fully engaged with the story and on what I'm, what, what I'm, what's actually going on, it also offers a better viewing experience for the audience that chose me purely for the commentary. I've differentiated myself from the rest of the pack in this reaction space because of the way I pause and give my takes compared to a lot of people that just talk over. And on top of that, I think my commentary actually holds value because if it didn't, then people wouldn't watch and I, I wouldn't, you know, my channels would not grow. What's the recipe for that marinated rice chicken dinner? So the recipe, um, it's a simple marinade. What you want to do is there's no actual measurements. In a bowl, mix soy sauce, fish sauce, oyster sauce, gochujang, which is Korean chili powder, or sorry, Korean chili, uh, Korean chili paste. It doesn't have to be gochujang, but it's just to act as a little, you know, um, just act as a little uh, a spice. If you don't have it, you can just use any sort of heat. If you don't like heat, then just don't use spicy. But those three stock, fish sauce, oyster sauce, soy sauce, those alone can get you a long way. Um, it's a simple marinade. And you can add like um, grated like garlic in it too. You can add some like um, black peppers. You can add some brown sugar or honey to kind of sweeten it up. But that's pretty much it. One of the most important stocks, I think, of just like ingredients is like soy sauce, oyster sauce, fish sauce. One second. If I were to move to the states, which tax-free states interest me the most? Well, I only know of two tax-free states in the United States, and that's Seattle and Texas. And maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm not clearly sure, right? But if the options were only um, Seattle and Texas, I would choose Seattle simply because the weather matches Vancouver weather, which I'm from, which I actually enjoy. I don't like the fucking Texas heat. I don't like the politics going on in Texas. I don't like the crazy amount of fucking gun con fucking um, gun abuse in there. I know a lot of people are going to get fucking mad at me saying, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just looking at the fucking numbers, bro. I don't like the way that shit's run there. I hate the fucking infrastructure in Texas of how anytime there's like a huge snowstorm or something, there's rolling blackouts and people get fucked because they opted out of, you know, uh, federal government support. They decided to do more, let's just do our own sovereign thing and that fucked everyone up. I don't like that shit. Texas seems nice. Austin, I probably lived there if I, if I had an opportunity, but I think that Seattle kind of suits my interests more. It's closer to home as well. It's, it's literally like an hour drive away from Vancouver. It's just right across, it's, it's really close and it just suits my needs. When do we continue getting over it? Um, right now I'm focusing on the YouTube videos more than anything else because again, right? This right over here. 
Every three months, whenever we get a huge boost in the algorithm, I'm paranoid as fuck because I'm thinking to myself, is this just like a lucky moment or is this, you know, actually a thing that's going to be happening for a long time? Anytime this happens, what I really do in the first month is really hammer down on upload content and try to fucking grind it out. That's why the gaming content's kind of paused right now. But look at the graph and we are slowly stabilizing. So this is good. We stabilized for another um, three month period. The first month is almost done. In about two months, when we're done with ReZero and we hit October, bro, when ReZero airs, we're going to get another jump like this, bro. Like, this is no longer just a coincidence. This is a pattern of behavior. This is like literally like the sixth or the fifth iteration. I can't fucking wait for October when we grind ReZero content so fucking much that we go in strong. Bro, it's going to be amazing, man. When's reaction to Yosuka no Sora? Only if someone buys the most expensive tier on Patreon. Uh, wait, 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 where was I? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there any other questions? Will the gaming screen come back? Yeah, I, I just explained that. Anna versus Natsukawa. In terms of who I hate more? They can go both die in a hell. I hate those characters. <laughs> What's my favorite cup noodle instant noodle brand? Uh, Shin Ramen, because Korean just loyalty. VTuber Kawen. So, VTubing is an interesting avenue that I thought about doing only because I wanted to do Corpo VTubing. Because that's... So, Corpo VTubing was on the table. I actually did apply for Niji Sanji, believe it or not, during this point. August. August 2023. I did that. I tried that. But this is when my channel had no growth and I was like, damn, I can't fucking do YouTube. This sucks. Maybe I should... I think that I have the personality. I think I can, you know, have a good stream, but... I just don't have the algorithm, so I was like, fuck it, corpo VTubing, but now that we have the growth, it's just like, there's no point VTubing. I'm just gonna invest into my own independent brand, there's no point. Saga of Tanya? No. What's my all-time favorite anime? I told you, stop asking me questions like this. You gotta ask me, like, what's your favorite, like, some of your favorite animes. You can't just fucking pick an all-time favorite anime in a random Q&A on the spot. Am I afraid to fail? Yes and no. Of course, everyone is afraid to fail, but I have become so useful to failing every day I fail. So it's, I've become numb to it. Every failure is a lesson that I learn from and move on. If I were to create a story, which genre would I make it? <laughs> Probably Isekai, right? <laughs> Probably Isekai. I think this is the chat fucking popping off at the rent-a-girlfriend, you know, reaction maybe coming back. Let's see. What do I do if someone spoils the anime I'm currently watching? So, no matter what, people are going to spoil. There's little to nothing you can do about it. I could turn chat into emote-only mode, but I think that kind of ruins the streaming experience. A lot of people want that personal connection and talk to me during the reactions, and I do enjoy that. So there's two ways. I could get mad about the spoilers, and I could cry about the spoilers, or I could simply ignore the spoilers and just give you a good performance. I think the latter is better in terms of creating content. The moment that you start showing the sharks that you can bleed, more sharks will show up and smell that blood and continue to troll you. Sometimes you do need to crucify them, but it's better to, it's at the end of the day, if someone's tries spoiling, it's up to me to kind of react in a, an appropriate manner that keeps the show entertaining. Am I a dog or a cat person? I'm a dog person, but my personality is probably closer to a cat. What's the last episode of One Piece I've ever seen? I honestly don't know. It's been such a long fucking time. I honestly don't know. Uh, what else is there? If a shonen show were to win the community poll, which one would I prefer? Black Clover, Hunter x Hunter? Well, I don't really know. I think both would be amazing. Both look pretty fun too. I, and I've seen a little bit of Black Clover already. Both would be, I think, great. Everybody talks so much great things about HXH, so either or, I'm happy as fuck. Which anime reaction popped off in my viewership when I first reacted to Reaction Channel? Eminence in Shadow. Eminence in Shadow. That's why if you look at the graph here, you look at this, look at the spike here. Just Eminence in Shadow. Look at how it stands amongst everything else, right? Eminence in Shadow, Classroom of the Elite were some of those seasonal animes that really carried me. Ever, ever felt like I wanted to be someone else instead of myself? Probably in the past, but that's due to me not even giving any sort of effort into bettering myself and looking just at other people that's more successful and getting jealous. 
But the more that I put in time to invest into myself and become better, I am perfectly fine with my own identity and I don't want to be anyone else. I'm perfectly fine being myself. Has an anime ever made me reflect on life? For sure. I mean, Mother's Rosario is probably the most recent, you know, arc of SAO that has done that, right? What was the whole lesson of Super AIDS? It's that life is fragile, right? While your biggest concern is trying to figure out what to eat tonight and what anime you want to watch. Some other people are just one day away from dying even though they're young, right? To have that kind of... What's the word? Privilege of health is such a huge thing and it kind of makes you think that you should live life to the fullest rather than just let it go. Just, what, are you happy with just existing? I feel like you should do more, right? That's the whole lesson that Zekin taught us. Favorite food? Ah, that's a lot of favorite foods. I love sushi. I love pizzas. I love pastas. I love fucking seafood. I love steaks. I love fast food. I love anything that tastes good, bro. I love fucking everything. Have I ever unbanned, unbanned anyone? Uh, one person, Mibu Wolf, because that was the tensor reaction where he said Hakuro is the dead, and I banned him as a joke, and I immediately unbanned him. The moon is red. Indeed, the frenzy is upon us. If someone asked for k my content, would I go for it? That would be a separate channel, never on my main channel, but I'm not sure how much you guys are aware of the Queen of Tears drama. There is this Korean uh, copyright holder name is TVN who has a lot of famous Korean dramas. And unfortunately, they're willing to strike down people really aggro. So, and not only that, think about how long a Korean drama uh, episode is regular to anime. It's like three times longer. So does it doesn't make sense to put in three, like sacrifice three episodes of anime or cartoon for one Korean drama? I don't think so. Tell us more about me or the camera. Do I have a good relationship with my parents living alone? Yes, they're very happy. They're very proud that I am literally just doing this shit full time now. Do I have beef? I got no beef. I have no enemies. What is dream vacation for me? Um... I'm not much of a vacation guy. Anytime I took off time off work for a vacation, I just stay home, smoke some good weed, watch some nice anime, have some fun. Every day is a vacation for me, to be honest. Me being able to do whatever I want, just play video games and watch whatever I want, just watch videos. Like, what more could I ask for? I don't really have a place that I really want to go to. I'm just chilling. Do I think ReZero will carry the channel? I don't think ReZero is going to carry the channel. If you consider Carrie as like, let's say, Roche Daddy viewership, where every video gets like 10k plus, I don't think the ReZero is going to happen like that. I hope the ReZero will be comparable to a little bit higher than Dangers in My Heart. Dangers in My Heart is averaging 2 to 3k views right now. I hope the ReZero can hang around in the 4000s, but maybe that's too much to ask. As long as it can get higher than 2k, I'm perfectly happy with that. Would I ever drop an anime that goes against my morals? Every anime does that. Every anime goes against my fucking morals. But the difference is that I know how to differentiate fiction from reality. Would I go to Twitch meetups with Chad in the future? Fuck no. Never. Never. I will never do a fan meetup. Nope. I know most of you are fine. But there's always the chance that there's this one lunatic that wants to kill me. Not worth it. Do I have an anime character that I hate but everyone likes? Yeah, the young girl from Tower of God right now, bro. She fucking sucks. Yeah, that Anna girl from Losing Heroines, dude. She fucking sucks, dude. What's my favorite type of anime? I actually enjoy sports anime a lot. Sports anime, something about the shonen element of sports and how relatable it is to me and how I can relate it back to my high school sports days. It's just very powerful. If ReZero does bad, do we drop it? Yes. If anything does bad, we immediately drop it. Nothing gets any sort of privilege. But I have full confidence that ReZero won't do bad. Everything points towards ReZero's success. I've already prepped multiple content regarding ReZero. Without it even being ReZero, every time retention, attention has been fucking off the charts. And it's been pretty amazing. And that's pretty much it. We're going to end this week's q and I'll see you back next week.